Should I be looking at trading my Toyota Tacoma? Is now the best time? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. So is now the best time to consider trading the Toyota Tacoma? Should I be looking at trading my Toyota Tacoma? Well, I'm gonna answer that here in just a little bit. But first, there are a few compelling and good reasons to consider trading the Toyota Tacoma right now. The first one is value, right? You know, I talked in a couple of videos about the shortages of new Tacomas out there right now. Now, what that does for the used market is drives it up, right? Because you can't find any new Toyota Tacomas unless you live in like California or Colorado, apparently. It makes the value of the used Tacomas go way up. I have heard of a couple people via comments and stuff on the channel, on the web, actually getting two and $3,000 more than they actually paid for their Toyota Tacoma new. Now that is insane, right? But it's happening. Number two, if you're looking for another brand, you know, if you kind of been teetering and for some crazy reason, I don't know why, you don't like the Toyota Tacoma and you've decided to go and try something else. Maybe a Ford Ranger, yeah, I said it. A Chevy Colorado, a Jeep Gladiator. Now is an awesome time to trade in the Toyota Tacoma because you're gonna get a ton of money for it. That means that you're gonna be able to put a ton of money towards the next one, if you're looking at going that route. Number three, out altogether on the Tacoma, right? You've got it, you've had it for a while, and you just don't like it. And let's face it, Tacomas aren't for everybody, right? We don't all like the same things, and there's nothing wrong with that, because if we did, everybody would be driving around a voodoo blue Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road. I wouldn't have the blue unicorn anymore. I don't want that. So I'm glad that there are people out there who don't like the Toyota Tacoma. And if you're one of those, you've had it for a while, maybe a year or two, and you've decided that it's just not for you, you know, you don't like the way that it shifts. A lot of people complain about that. You don't like the interior room. It can be a bit cramped as compared to something bigger. Or maybe you just don't like the way it looks all together. Who knows? Perfect time to trade it in right now because you're going to get a ton of money for it. Number four, upgrade. You wanna upgrade into a higher trim level. Let's say that you just bought a base SR5 or something. Now, it's a great time to trade it in and go for something else. And I'm saying within the Toyota Tacoma family, right? You can go to a limited, you can go to a TRD off-road, a TRD sport, a long bed, a short bed, a manual, an automatic. I mean, there are a myriad of options out there that you can switch to. And now is the perfect time to do that and the worst time to do that. The perfect time again, because you're gonna get a lot of money out of what you currently have because there's a shortage. But secondly, you're gonna have a hard time finding that upgraded truck because there's a shortage. You know, I get a lot of stories from people telling me that they're traveling all over the country to buy their Tacomas. They're getting on a plane, they're flying across the country, picking it up, driving it back. People are doing some pretty crazy things right now to get their Tacoma, right? Nothing wrong with that. I mean, hey, if you can do it and you want the truck that bad, why not? You got to do what you got to do, right? Number five, extra cash. Let's just say that for some reason you're a little short on the green stuff right now, right? I mean, you could trade in the Tacoma and pick up something else. Maybe a Honda Civic, another one of my favorite vehicles, by the way. But you can pick up something a little bit lesser, get some money, throw it in the bank, and have a little extra cash to take care of what you need to take care of. Now is the perfect time to do that. Because again, they're worth a lot of money right now. Now, should you wait? The other thing to consider, you know, there is a new Tacoma coming. Now, when I say there's a new Tacoma coming, I don't mean like tomorrow, because it's certainly not gonna be tomorrow. It's within the next two or three years. So maybe you've got three vehicles, you really only need two, and you're looking to upgrade, or at least change out, hopefully it's an upgrade, to this new Tacoma that's gonna be coming, the redesign. 
You know, right after the new Tundra comes out, I've been told by a couple of engineers at Toyota that they start focusing on the Tacoma. Now, it's about a two or three year, probably three year turnaround from when they first start tearing it apart to when they actually come up and release the new redesigned version. So I'm thinking since the new Tundra is supposed to be released this coming December, as long as that hasn't been pushed back, you know, we're really talking about, that will really be 2022. So we're really talking about 2025 for the new redesigned Toyota Tacoma. But if you can wait, now is the time to go ahead and get out of the Tacoma that you're in because you're gonna get the most money for it. You can then throw that in the bank, earn a little bit of interest, and I mean a little, good luck in finding a high yield account right now, but maybe you're good at playing the stock market. But anyway, you can throw it in the bank, earn a little bit of interest, grow that money, and then when it becomes time to go out and grab this new redesigned Tacoma, you will be ready. Now, I mentioned in the beginning, I would let you know if I was going to do something like that. Most of you probably already know. No, there's no way I'm going to do that. Not with my truck. You know, I got into this for the long haul, and there's a few reasons why I wouldn't do it. One, I don't need to do it. Uh, if I do anything with the Tacoma, chances are it'll be once the new redesigned version comes out, and then maybe not even then. I may just keep what I have and go ahead and get one of those for comparison's sake. It would be good for my business, i.e. the YouTube channel, plus for me personally, because I'd be very curious to see what the differences are. I love the truck that I have, you know? It is kind of a unicorn. I kind of kiddingly call it the blue unicorn, right? And it is. The color, specifically the manual transmission. You know, I don't know if a manual transmission is going to be available in the next go around with the Toyota Tacoma. And if it isn't, I don't know. That's something I may not be interested in because I do want to maintain or keep hold of a manual transmission Tacoma. So it's not something I'd be running out trying to get rid of. And if I was in the boat where I was looking to maybe change models, I don't know, go back to the sport, maybe a limited, something like that, trying to find a manual transmission would make it even more difficult for me. They're hard enough to find as it is, let alone narrowing down my potential pool of manuals uh, to what's out there because they don't produce that many manuals. I'd almost have to order one again. And there's no way I'm looking to do that because frankly, the wait was excruciating. When I ordered this truck, it was a five month lead time. That's like half a year almost. Now, I'm not very patient anyway, so it took a lot for me to just sit back and wait and not do something else. I managed to do it, of course, but there's no way I would do it again. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. Now really is the perfect time if you're consider trading the Tacoma. You're gonna get the most out of it that you can, but it's also the worst time because if you're looking to replace it with a newer, refreshed model, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. Leave a comment and let me know if you've kind of been weighing this yourself, if you've considered maybe trading yours off and upgrading to something else. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two other channels, Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And Rob Motive Civic, all about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R, and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out if you're interested. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.